guys, so I've created this look for the tutorial. Uh, it's based around four recent products that I've purchased, all of which are from Kat Von D. Uh, she's just re recently launched in the UK, so I've finally been able to get my hands on some of her products. Uh, the products I'll be using is the Lock It Foundation, the Tattoo Liner, the Shade and Light Contour Palette, and the Shade and Light Contour Quad. And I'll be talking about each product as I'm applying it. So if you like the look of this look and are interested in knowing about these Kat Von D products, then please keep watching. So here are the products and as usual, the day you choose to film, your skin decides to be awful. After priming, I'm going straight in with my Kat Von D Locket Foundation in Light Warm 45 and I thought I'd change from using my Real Techniques buffer brush to the Zoeva 104 buffer brush and I've got to say I really love this brush. Back to the foundation, I absolutely love this foundation. Straight away after applying it, it's changed my skin. I mean imagine what it can do if I'm having a good skin day. I mean at the beginning of this video my face was looking red and blotchy and now it's smooth. I have really oily skin and this is quite a matte foundation so it's good for absorbing without it looking really dewy which my previous foundation I found did. It's really easy to blend and it's a medium to full coverage so definite thumbs up for this foundation. I just want to add that uh, wearing this foundation, it doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing any, it feels like my skin's breathing which is a definite good sign because you don't want it to clog up and it feels like it just sits on the face, like it's not clogging your pores. I'm now going in with my Urban Decay Naked Concealer, also called Light Warm. I was concerned that this was going to be a bit too dark, luckily it wasn't but it does kind of match the foundation so plan to buy a new one in a lighter shade. I am now going in with my second Kat Von D product and that is the Shade and Light Contour Palette. I'm going in with this colour, it's called Lyric and I'm putting that on the areas I've applied concealer because I want those bits to be lighter and I found this powder actually brightened underneath my eye seeing as my concealer matched my foundation. And I'm just applying it all in the areas I want the lighter parts of my face. I'm now going in with Shadow Play, which is this middle shade, with my favourite bronzing brush, the 135 by MAC. And I have to say, this palette is brilliant. Like, it suits everyone. Like, I don't have to go for that Lyric shade underneath the eye. I could go for the Lucid. Levitation is a bit too peachy, maybe when I have more of a tan, because I, I can go quite dark. Uh, Sombre and Shadow Play I'd probably use, Subconscious is probably a bit too dark unless I want to be really dramatic, but other than that these powders are brilliant, they blend out so nicely, especially the highlighting shades as well, like they really brightened areas. In a minute I'll be going back in with Lyric underneath my bronzer just to sharpen it a bit. I just want to say if you're looking for a contour palette then please get this one, everyone should have this one, it suits everyone like I said and it's great for people who are just beginning or if they already know what they're doing. I'm now just applying blusher and I'm applying NARS Deep Throat. Moving on to the eyes, I'm just applying my NARS Smudge Proof Base Primer and we'll be going in with the third Kat Von D product and that is the Shade and Light Icon Tour Quad in sage. I mean normally I do go for pinks, I had to stop myself getting the plummy coloured one and I thought it would be interesting to get the sage one because I have greens and I used to wear greens all the time but I've never had a matte green and I really like colours. As you can see I've already applied that, applied, applied that base colour, um, I've played, applied that all over the lid and then I've gone in with that highlight shade just above the brow bone and these two colours will help the other eyeshadows blend out, if I can get my words out. So now I've gone in with that contour colour, which is kind of like a real like mushroomy colour, but it's 
got a warmth to it. It's a really nice shade. I'm really in love with this. Like I could see myself using this shade all the time. Like it's a good transition color, but it's also really good for deepening that crease, which is exactly what we want to do for this look before applying that defined color. In the minute, we'll be going in with that defined shade, which is that lovely matte foresty green. And we're applying that on the outer corners into the crease and we're just gonna keep pulling it out. I just like to say that these quads are brilliant. You can get three other different colors and they're small enough to fit in a small handbag, so travel size. So if you don't wanna take a massive palette with you, especially if you're only going away for like a couple of days, these are brilliant. You can take one with you and you can create any eye that you want. You don't necessarily have to go for what I've done here. You could just create a smoky eye. And who says you need to start with one? You could take two or you could take three. They're all small enough to literally fit in one bag. And the other great thing about them is the eyeshadows themselves. I mean, they're super pigmented, like really smooth and soft on the eye. They blend out really nicely. I mean, I've just purchased her Metal Matte Palette which has got tons of eyeshadows in it, but I'm still thinking about getting the plummy pink color quad as well. That's how much I really love these eyeshadows. By the way, I just like to say that I have purchased all these products by myself. I'm not sponsored by anyone, no one sends me anything. I'm now going back in with that base shade. Base shade, honestly base shade just to brighten up the eyelid and blend the two colors together i'm now going in with the kat von d tattoo liner in trooper and just before we get into it i did film it all but i'm technically i'm not blind but i need to wear glasses so i get too close to the mirror and i just become off the camera but other than that this eyeliner is brilliant if you like using eyeliner pens. It is literally just an eyeliner and it does the same thing as my Stila one, but the only thing I find better is that the pen nib is longer and it's easier to use. But most of all, it's real like black, black color. You know, sometimes when they dry, they become a bit gray looking, but it dries literally matte black. So I highly recommend this tattoo liner especially if you have like small areas you need to get to, it's brilliant for that. I definitely would like to get this in a more brown shade. Sometimes black can look really harsh. So I, I prefer using black eyeliners with darker eyeshadows. I'm now finishing off the eyes by doing the lower lid and I'm going in with that contour shade and the defined shade. And with the defined shade, we're only going halfway in and then really blend it into that contour shade. And then I'll use that highlight shade in the inner corner just to open up the eyes. I'm just gonna go in and curl my lashes and apply my Benefit Cosmetics Roller Lash, which is the best mascara that I've ever used. And then to highlight, I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in Gleam and going with the color Crush Pearl. And I will apply that to my cheeks, my cupid's bow, my nose, the normal places. I'm now going to complete the look by using MAC Saw Lip Liner and Velvet Teddy Lipstick. And i just like to know, does anyone else enjoy the smell of MAC lipsticks? I mean, they literally smell like vanilla cupcakes. So this is the finished look. And I just like to say, I love every single one of the Kat Von D products. I've got nothing bad to say about them. My favorites have to be the Lock It Foundation because it makes my skin look amazing. Plus my skin feels great with it on. And the Shade and Light Contour Palette, everyone should have that palette. It's worth the money, definitely. As usual, all products will be listed down below. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. But most of all, thank you once again watching my video.